So today I'm talking about a P0339 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P0339 code? Well, it's a crankshaft position sensor, a circuit intermittent. And what does this mean? Well, basically there's what's called a crankshaft position sensor. And this sensor is gonna be located down at the bottom of the engine around the crankshaft. And it basically just monitors the crankshaft as it spins and reports this information back to the computer. And the computer uses this information mainly for timing of the engine. But when you get a P0339 code, the computer's seeing some kind of problem with this sensor. And so it's got to be troubleshooted to know why. And one thing to know about these sensors, the crankshaft position sensor and the camshaft position sensors that monitor the cam as it spins, is that dependent on the vehicle and if they're replaced, is that sometimes they need what's called a relearn procedure. And this is really going to vary. It's going to depend on the vehicle. Sometimes you could just swap out that sensor and the engine will start up and just start running. But other times you swap it out and the engine won't start or the engine does start and it's not running right. And if that happens after you replace that sensor, the very likely that crankshaft position sensor needs what's called a relearn. And this can be done different ways. Sometimes you could just drive the vehicle and the computer automatically relearn. Sometimes there's a set procedure that needs to be done. For example, you drive like 20 miles an hour for a mile, you stop, then you drive 60 miles per an hour for a mile or something along these lines. There's like steps that need to be done. If you have a good OBD2 scan tool, quite often they'll have a relearn option inside of there. Well, not all scan tools have these. These type of scan tools are more expensive and they do cost more money. But if you do have a really good scan tool, you can go look and see because a lot of the good OBD2 scan tools, they do have an option inside there that'll command the computer to do a relearn procedure for that crankshaft position sensor. But basically keep in mind that depending on the vehicle, it may have what's called a relearn procedure. And so what are some possible causes of a P0339 code? Well, the first thing that could cause is that that sensor has just gone bad. It just failed. It just needs to be replaced. You can test these sensors if you want to. There's some different ways to go about testing them. Basically, the way these work is that every single time there's a piece of metal directly in front of them, they'll complete a connection that sends a signal back to the computer, which the computer can read, and it can calculate the position of the crankshaft as it's spinning. And so there is some different ways to go about testing these sensors. There's some good YouTube videos on that. But the first thing that could cause this is a bad crankshaft position sensor. And the next thing that could cause this is the wiring going to the sensor. If there's any kind of problem inside the wiring going to the sensor, an open, a short, there's a bad connection somewhere, then that's gonna cause issues. You will need to get a wiring diagram for what's going on with your particular vehicle since there will be differences. It will depend on the vehicle, on what's happening with these sensors and how they're working. There can't be two wire sensors, there could be three wire sensors, there could even be four wire sensors. So like I said, be sure to get a schematic for your particular vehicle. These three wire sensors are fairly common. And basically what's going on with these is that one wire is going to be ground, one wire is going to have voltage going to it, and then every single time a piece of metal is directly in front of that sensor, it's going to send a signal back to the computer, and the computer is going to be able to track this and know the timing of the engine. So the next thing on the list is going to be some kind of wiring issue. And the next thing that could cause this is a blowing fuse, which is kind of combined with the wiring. Basically, if you check the voltage going to that sensor, you're not getting no voltage, then go look at your fuses. It can't be confusing which fuse these use quite often. Very often, it's not clear which fuse they're on. So you might have to do some research to figure out which fuse is for that crankshaft position sensor, or you can go through and just test them all and check them all out, because the next thing on the list is going to be a blown fuse. And the last thing on the list is going to be a bad timing chain or timing belt. And this isn't going to be too common with this code. Usually when you get a P0339 code, it's going to be some kind of problems going on inside of the circuitry going to the sensor or a bad sensor itself. But if the timing chain or timing belt gets off, they can cause problems with these sensors sometimes. So it is possible that there's some kind of issue going on with the timing chain or timing belt, that it slipped a notch or it's really old and stretched out and just throwing everything off. But like I said, it's fairly rare for this. Usually when you got a P0339 code, you're going to have some kind of problem going on inside the wires going to the sensor, or you have a bad sensor itself. But the last thing on the list is going to be a bad timing belt or a timing chain. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0339 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me. I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you. Please click like. Please click subscribe. And have a good day.